Hey, hello everybody. Today I am here to talk to you about the focus of 2018 being unconditional love, self-love, love of yourself, prosperity, and greater security. So yesterday we talked about these things and it being that unconditional love really of yourself and how to get there by way of gratitude. So always being grateful for your gifts and your gifts will grow into your prosperity. Now today, I wanna to talk about how to remove some of the obstacles that get in the way, especially of this unconditional sense of self-love because it's very important. But hey, if you don't know me, or we've never met before. My name is Mary Shores. I am the best-selling Hay House author of Conscious Communications, your step-by-step -step guide to harnessing the power of your words to change your mind, your choices, and your life. And it is my absolute passion to bring to you as much personal and professional development as I can possibly give you. So, okay, let's get started. All right, now, the first thing that I want to focus on is talking about we need to remove some obstacles that might be in the way of getting ourselves to that place of unconditional love and self-respect. And one of the things, the best way that we're going to get there is by way of being grateful for every one of your gifts. Now, when I say gifts, I'm really talking about the natural skills and talents that you were born with. So we all have special skills that are unique to us. They're the things that you're the best at. Okay, so in order to get to, hello Jillian, in order to get to the things that you're most grateful for with your gifts, one of the things that we need to do is look at envy. Because when we are comparing ourselves to another person, we really can't be in a space of being grateful for the gifts that we have if we are envious of the gifts that another person has. So we wanna look at that, you know, like um, we wanna just look at are we being envious? And if we are, that means we're comparing ourselves to another person. And just consider the fact that you can't really be fully in your place of self-love and gratitude for your own gifts if you are comparing yourself to another person. And that leads me to the second thing, the second obstacle that we need to remove, which is judgment. Now, judgment's a very interesting thing because we're constantly judging ourselves and we're constantly judging other people. So two nights ago, I was coming home from a very long travel day and I was at the airport and I was so grateful to be home. And I noticed these other people and they were all complaining because their baggage hadn't come. And I thought to myself, why are they complaining? Why aren't they just happy to be home? They've gotten home safely. You know, air travel, just like any any other car travel, it slows down because the weather, we're in a frozen tundra right now. But you know what really I was doing? I was judging them. I was judging them and I didn't need to be judging them. So we're constantly judging things. It's like, you know, the, the, I'm, not trying to, I'm not trying to talk you out of your judgments, but when you are aware that you've just judged another person because maybe you don't agree with something that they've done, or maybe you're just judging yourself, then we need to recognize it. So as soon as you become aware that you're judging something, what I want you to do is step back, become aware of it, and release it. Just forgive yourself, okay? So that brings me to the next part of the discussion, which is we need to forgive ourselves. In order to really be in the energy of unconditional love and especially unconditional love for ourselves, we need to forgive ourselves. We need to make a list of all of the things that we just need to release. They're, they're, not, they're in the past. You know, if you are a fan of the things that I, that I write, the content that I share, or you're reading my book, you'll know that one of my big topics is to tell you how to tell a new story. It is so important that we learn how to tell the stories of our triumphs over our tragedies. And part of that process is to learn how to forgive yourself. So when a judgment comes up, when you feel like you are either judging yourself or judging other people, then you become aware of it. Do not beat yourself up. Just forgive yourself. But you know what? Also forgive the other people. So in my scenario, 
with the with at the airport, you know, not only do I need to forgive myself, but I need to forgive them and I need to understand that they've also had a stressful day and you know, they were really operating out of their fight or flight. It had nothing to do with me. It was not, you know, my my opinion really doesn't matter in this scenario. Okay, the last thing is all about removing fears. So, you know, the the focus for 2018 is self-love, prosperity, and a greater sense of security. Now, in order to get to that place of security, we really need to trust. And the way to get to trust is to remove the fears. So whatever you have a fear of, it's like, how do you transmute that, that focus of fear to being a focus of trust? So just to give a little simple example, I can tell you that um, one of the things I've been very fearful for recently is my son not doing well in a couple of classes. So like here's where the fear is, you know, that I'm not going, that he's going to get an F or he's going to fail and he's not going to graduate high school. And what I need to do in order to transmute that fear into trust is to step back and go, wait a second. That's part of his journey. You know, perhaps he needs to fail a class so that he can appreciate the importance of doing his homework or taking his work so more seriously. Now, that's just a simple, a simple example. But what things in your life are you fearful of? And I'm not suggesting that you just flip into the opposite, but what I am suggesting is that you look at the fear and ask yourself, how can I trust in this process? Like, what is it? What is this fear trying to communicate to me? What if I just trusted in the universe, trusted myself to be in the right place at the right time? You will be at the right place at the right time when you need to be. You know, that's one of my daily affirmations. So, okay. And just a review. And I want to say that, you know, New Year, New You, this is very exciting. Hay House just put out a New Year, New You catalog. It has um, conscious communication in it. It also has the Gabby Bernstein, The Universe Has Your Back. So I love that because she also has a brand new book out called Judgment Detox. And judgment is what we have been talking about today. So uh, if you want to check out the video from yesterday, that is all about how to get into the space of unconditional love, prosperity and security. Today we are talking about overcoming some of the obstacles so that we can get into that place. All right, so that's it for now. Thank you so much. Hey, this is Mary. Thanks so much for watching. Check out a free chapter of my book, Conscious Communications at maryshores.com forward slash free chapter. The link is in the description below.